Hello guys, hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am personally am in India and I am safe. A lot of you have got admit this time in radio system engineering and have been asking me how is the course. So I am here to answer the common questions. I will start with what is the course structure. So it was different in 2017 and now it's a bit different. The course structure is divided into three slabs. And as you can see in slab one, there are eight subjects. For you guys, all these 8 subjects are compulsory. Slab 1 has all the important technical subjects. You can see principle of rail vehicle technology that is RV1, railway vibration that is RV2 and uh, track garden that is RV3 along with the railway system and capacity timetabling. And we have power electronics, mechatronics and electrical guides. Now as I said, these subjects are compulsory. It was different for 2017 admits but for 2019 admits, all these subjects are compulsory. Now in this master's program you have to complete 120 credits and as you can see in the picture each subject has different credits like the radio system has 6, power electronics has 4. Now you need to complete 120 credits. Now there is also an internship which you can see in the second slab. So if you do an 8 week internship you get 10 credits and if you do a 16 week internship you get 20 credits. For your final thesis that is your master thesis which is also compulsory you get 24 credits. Now note that internship is not compulsory but final master thesis is. And another question people ask me is how many years will it take to complete the course or how many semesters will it take. Now it's stated that it will take two semesters but it is very difficult to complete the course in two semesters. As you see you will need to complete at least 16 or 18 subjects and an internship and a thesis. In one semester we can manage 6 to 7 subjects. So People generally take three semesters to complete the subjects, another one for internship and another one for final master thesis. Now the important question, how is the course? I can only answer it from a personal point of view. I find the course really amazing. If you have got an admit in the winter semester, then you will study subjects like railway system and principle of real vehicle technology. Now these subjects introduce us to the field of railways. So in these subjects, we learn about signals, how our stations, what is the railway timetabling, how do trains cross path with the help of a switches. These topics were in uh, railway systems uh, and in principle of railway technology we learned about basic like the, what type of trains are there, what type of tracks are there and later it was a bit detailed about the different forces, power needed to climb a slope, aerodynamics, brakes and so on. Giving a short overview of other subjects in RCMO that is Railway Operation and Capacity Management. We had timetabling, how and why the trains are delayed, delay propagation. In the Rail Vehicle 2, as the name suggests, we study about vibration. In Rail Vehicle 3, that is Track Guidance Technology, we study about the track and wheel interaction, different designs of wheel. In Power Electronics, we learn about space vector modulation, uh, buck converter, boost converter and other some other electronic concept, DC link among others. Next question was can this course be completely completed in English and the answer is yes. You don't need to study any subjects in German unless you want to. Now you need to know what the course is not. The course is not a designing course or a production course. You don't learn about different production techniques or different manufacturing techniques or designing. Designing is a small part in certain subjects like in RV3 type guidance technology, there is a small aspect of wheel designing and in principle of rail vehicle technology, we learn about aerodynamics and uh, resistance, how it goes through a tunnel, but there is no vehicle dynamics. Few people from automobile wanted to know if they can pursue VD in rail vehicle technology, so you can definitely go into it further. But there are no subjects which focus on these aspects. You can definitely learn it from different sites and everything is available on the internet. But the course is not designed for manufacturing or production. Another question you guys asked me was how good are the professors? To be frank, I never had such teaching faculty in my life. Most of these professors have work experience in the industry and they are taking the same subject. So the lectures are really amazing. And also you can ask doubts after the lecture. I always used to ask doubts to Professor Neeson, Professor Miller and Professor Lowenstein. Many questions were there in my mind like how the rail works when this two feet deep water in one zones in Mumbai or can we further increase the capacity of the Mumbai locals and I got my answers to them. In the one or two subjects there was a bit of a language issue with the professor's assistant. The professor teaches the lecture and the assistants teach the exercise and in one or two subjects we had a 
bit of difficulty understanding the concepts but uh, it was the first time that most of the assistants were teaching since I was from the first batch but overall the teaching faculty is amazing another question asked is how difficult is the course I have made a separate video for it as it's a bit long that's it for this video stay safe and stay healthy and do let me know in comments if you have any other questions